Good morning. Sorry for the bad lighting, but it's still like 5.30 in the morning, so it's not super light out right now. I'm trying to talk quietly because Britton is still asleep on the other side of the tent there, so I don't want to wake him up. Anyways, I'm going to get up and get moving because I do actually have a lot of stuff I have to get done before I leave here. We're leaving here this morning. Actually, my train doesn't leave till 11.30 at night, but I'm leaving this morning to go up to my parents' house uh, because I have to drop off my cat and my dog. And I have some grocery shopping to do at Wegmans before I get on my train. These bags under my eyes are so bad. I am not going to be going for my daily hike today. I just have too much to do this morning and there's just not going to be enough time. And plus, I'm going to be all sweaty and I'm going to have to shower afterward. And so it's just not going to happen today. This is actually all the stuff that has to go with me. Not all of this is going on the train with me. Some of it is getting dropped off at my parents' house. But like everything, all of this... And then that's the dog food, my suitcase, and my bag of yarn. I'm even bringing this bag of wine. And believe it or not, I'm actually going to be adding two bottles to this. So I will be bringing seven bottles of wine on the train with me. So I actually just curled my hair. I plugged in, I was able to plug in my uh, my curling iron into my Jackery. I've just got my... Uh, my curling iron here plugged into my Jackery. It's only drawing about 53, 55 watts. Should we do a fit check? This isn't really gonna be my travel outfit. This is just the outfit that I'm gonna wear this morning <laughs> to my parents' house and then tonight, cause I don't board the train until like 11.30 tonight. So I'm gonna just wear like super comfy pants and a sweatshirt probably, but this is what we've got this morning. My Buffalo Bills fleece, some American Eagle jeans, my, can you see those? My very muddy area boots. I also have to find my cat because I have to put her in her carrier and she is out and about hunting field mice or bunnies or something. All right, I found Maybelline. I've been shaking her treats to get her to come. Get her in her carrier because we're leaving in literally less than five minutes. Are you ready? Here's the queen. She is not happy with me right now. This is actually a backpack carrier from Brisk Tails. I think that's what it's called, Brisk Tails. I really, really love this one. I don't know if you can see her in there, but there she is. Okay, so I'm here at the winery. I gotta pick up those two bottles of wine and then we're on our way. got the goods. I ended up buying an extra bottle of wine because I got that bottle, um, that bouquet. It's a dry rosé made with, what did she say? Cab Sauv and Saparavai. You guys, it was so freaking good. I couldn't resist. Oh my gosh, did I leave you? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I am now at the grocery store. I have to get cheese and yogurt because the yogurt here, my dad, it's my dad's favorite yogurt and he can't get it at the grocery store up in the town where they live. So I'm gonna go grab that. Strawberry. Okay, so they don't have, this is what I was looking for. I wanted one of this size in the vanilla, but they don't have it. So I'm just gonna get them a bunch of these little vanilla ones. And for anyone wondering what's so special about this, this is local yogurt from um, local cows here. And it is the cream on top. This is so, so good. Okay. okay now we gotta go get the cheese. This is local cheese. Oh, I always grab them a couple blocks of this as well. So I've got a Swiss and cheddar blend, blocks of this checkerboard cheddar, which is really, really good. Got cracked pepper in it. Uh, two blocks of this, Lady of the Lake, which is a Gouda and Parmesan blend. Lastly, I got this smoked Gouda cheese.
Okay, so I have not been updating you guys. Uh, so I got to my parents' house. I, let's see, I had a very big salad once I first got there. Um, I took a shower. I did a little bit of laundry that I, just the clothes that Britton and I wore basically yesterday. Um, just popped those in the wash really quick. Uh, dropped off my dog to the dog sitters. And now I'm at my grocery store here. And I'm going to go in and just get some stuff to bring on my trip with me. My camera is about to die, but I'll film as much as I can in the store for you. So I just have a little work to do on my laptop first and then my son and I are actually going to play hide and seek together and play some Mario Kart. We're just going to hang out, spend some time together because I will be gone for a few weeks. So we're just kind of going to spend our last few hours together doing some stuff and yeah, maybe I will film that. So maybe I'll keep this video rolling and I'll film us doing that and then I'll end the video. Are we going to play some Mario Kart? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> britain has got his little... Bowl of sunflower seeds. Yeah, it's like, his uh, gaming like snack. Oh, you know what to do. Boop, boop. Cloud glider up. Not Wario and Rainbow Road. No. I picked the worst wheels for turning. Okay. I even told you a little bit earlier. Yes! You got four. Awesome. Oh man, I suck. <laughs> okay, so now we are playing hide and seek and Britain is the first one to hide. We are allowed to search anywhere outside of the house, but inside the garage or inside the car. So let's see if we can find him. Oh, <laughs> pothole. I think I found him. I think, I think he's in the car. I think he's under that thing. No, I was wrong. He is not in there. Do you know where Britain went? Hmm. All right, let's see. Oh, this is locked. So I guess he's not in the garage. I have to think like Britain. I have to think like Britain. Where would he go? At what point can I phone a friend? Because <laughs> uh, I really don't know where he is. I I'm not playing either. I'm, I'm not. I, I really don't know where he is. Ironically, even though we live outside, he's not a super outdoorsy person. He doesn't like getting dirty. He doesn't like creepy crawly things. So I'm pretty sure he wouldn't be like anywhere in the woods. I'm sure he's in a place like, I don't know, like the garage or the car, but uh, I didn't see him there. So I don't know. Do you think he's all the way out there? He's all the way out there. Maybelline's on a mission to help me find him too. Okay, he just gave me a clue. He just called me really quick, or called out uh, verbally, not on the phone. And his voice is coming from this way. So we're gonna go back to the front of the house. There's no way. There's no way he's up Okay, here. so I found Britain. I'm sorry I did not film that, but I was actually on a video chat with Mr. M and we were trying to find him together. But he was in fact, in the woods, down in there, there was a little trail that went down there and I found him. Now, my soon to be in-laws are going to be here any second and I have to start getting all of my luggage ready outside. So I am going to end the video here and I will see you in the next video and that will be the train ride.